Jonathan, we are Hello. walking to work. Yes, you are. We're walking to Spamalot on Broadway. No big deal. Just yes. Spamalot on Broadway. Yes, I love that. And you do this walk, what, eight times a week? Uh, six times a week. Six because times a week. Usually, hey, big fans, thank you. Um, usually during the days where we have two shows, I stay at the theater because I'm just too tired to leave. Yeah, no, I get that. Six what's, days a week. What's your favorite part about this walk to the St. James Theater? Uh, I mean, I think walking to the St. James Theater on Broadway, it just ignites you when you're walking there because you're walking in New York City on Broadway around all the theaters and you're seeing all the other people walk to their shows and like you're seeing the people eating dinner before they come see your show. And I remember being that kid that would sit at, you know, Carmine's right here yes. or or um, you know, at the Hotel Edison in the cafe and I'd be eating and I'd watch all the Broadway actors coming to work and like, it just, it makes it, Broadway is just, it's everyone. It's not just the people in the show. It's the people that come to see the show. It's everyone that works on the show. It's just the energy of New York City. It makes you like wake up and feel invigorated when you're walking to work. I think of the song, Always Look on, on the bright, bright Side of Life. I feel like when you're walking through a city like New York, that's chaotic. Yeah. You've got to kind of have that in the back of your mind. I mean, you, you definitely have it in the back of your mind when you leave Spamalot because we do a giant sing-along at the end and everyone gets to sing the song and there's confetti. So like, yes. you, will leave, you will leave Spamalot singing Always Look on the Bright Side of Life for the rest of your week. You've stepped into this show, yeah. making your Broadway debut. It's this my Broadway Tony... debut, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy. This Tony Award winning show. Yeah. What's it like to step into the role uh, as Sir Robin? I mean, th there's. it's fun because, it, I mean, it's, it's scary. At, the, yeah. at first it was like, I'm gonna do what? And then, but the cast and the creatives on the show have been so wonderful and made it so, um, comfortable for me and it made me feel so safe. I will say there are shows on Broadway that are just as good as Spamalot, but I don't think there are any shows right now that are as special as Spamalot. And that is because there's something about the show that you can't explain. Like, Alex Brightman gets to do a monologue every night of whatever he wants. So Incredible. no matter how many times you've seen Spamalot, it's different yes. every single time you see it. The other night, Alex, decided that his monologue, because he's a genius, was going to be quoting the Calteen Bars scene from Mean Girls. <laughs> I love so that. So I'm on stage <laughs> with Alex Brightman quoting Mean Girls to me in front of the Broadway audience, <laughs> and then James Monroe turns and goes, I've never seen the movie, sorry. <laughs> and everyone went nuts. Take us back to that first bow. What was that like? Oh, and then God. afterwards, did you go backstage and cry? Did you have a sweet treat? Like, what okay. was that like? I completely, well, let me show you this. Come here. <laughs> what I don't, let me show you, because I'm a sucker. Like, I don't like, this is how much I hate the fact that we're standing not in front of my shows <laughs> while we're doing this. So we're going to stand here because of branding. Yeah. Um, so let me tell you about my first bow in Spamalot, okay? <laughs> I walk out on the stage and I take my first bow and I, for the first time, I'm aware of where I am. My entire first show, I didn't remember a thing. Like no. I, I completely blacked out. I don't remember a single thing from the show until we got to the curtain call when I finally breathed for the first time. And I was like, oh my gosh, I did it. And I turned to Nick Walker and I was like, did I do it? And he's like, yeah, you crushed it. <laughs> and so it was, it was just, it was a moment I will never forget the rest of my life. Being on Broadway literally is the best thing that has ever happened to me other than marrying my husband. This has been the absolute number one biggest thrill of my entire life. I love that. You deserve this. Oh, We're, here. We're here. At We're here at Spamalot. We're here at Spamalot. New York City, Absolutely. Broadway. So we'll let you go in and do your thing. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so busy. I have to go to Broadway. Come on. Oh wait, let's look at my name. There it is, Jonathan Bennett. Jonathan Bennett next to Alex Brightman. Are you kidding me? Let's get out of here. And I have found my grail.